Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how you can resize and edit your images in Canva. Now, this has changed a little bit, and there are a couple of ways that you probably aren't aware of. So let's dive into Canva and get started right away. The first option is here on the Canva homepage, and it might not be obvious at first, but you can come over here and you can click Upload, and you can either choose your files or you can choose to drag and drop a file onto there. So let's say I wanted to use this image. I can just drag and drop that file onto there or say I wanted to use this image. Let's use this one. I really like this image. I can just drag that onto there and that's going to open up this screen here. Now you might be thinking like straight away, I'm going to click on using design or add to a template. But down in the bottom left hand corner here, you can see there's this edit photo option. Now what this does is it actually allows you to edit your photo without putting it in a design or anything else like that. It's just going to allow you to edit your photo outside of any design template. Now what that's going to do in the background is it's going to just going to take a moment to actually upload the photo to Canva. Now once you're in here, you do have all the normal options like background remover, magic eraser, magic edit. You've got all the filters, shadows, autofocus, blur and duotone. And also in here, this is one of my favorite parts of editing photos in Canva and to be able to change all the ratios and things like that. First of all, you've got in here a adjust. Now this is going to allow you to adjust the way the image looks a bit like adding a filter, but creating your own kind of custom filter or anything else like that. You can just click auto adjust and you can see some of the sliders down here have changed. I really like this feature. It's really good because it allows you to just click one button to get much better looking images inside of Canva. Now this is where we're going to look at changing the aspect ratio because at the moment this is like a large banner, but say I only wanted one of these images. I can come over to crop and I can choose to rotate, but we don't want to do that. But up here, you've got predefined aspect ratios. Now, if you wanted this for Instagram, which is a four by five crop, we're gonna be able to then just adjust this. The thing is with an aspect ratio is you can only shrink it down so much. So say if you didn't want these bits on the side, you are gonna have to lose a little bit off the top and maybe the bottom of this image. So you're gonna to have to drag the corners in here, but it is gonna keep that aspect ratio for you. So if we just clicked in, say I didn't want any of the white borders on there. Now, there you go. That's now done that for you. If I click done, that's gonna save this file into my Canva library for me, or I can click using a design, but I'm gonna click done. Okay, and now that takes us back to this screen. We can click using the design again, or if we click save, I can click save to Canva or just download that straight away. So that's gonna download that to your computer. It's gonna allow you to then upload that however you want, transfer it to your phone or anything else like that. So if you download it, that's gonna download it to your Mac or your laptop, and or you can click to use save to Canva. Now, if I do click save to Canva, that's now gonna save it in my projects folder. If you don't see it straight away, you might have to click refresh. There we go. So it does take a few moments to show up inside of projects, but once you click refresh, you can see this is what it's calling a screenshot. That's just my original file name. So I can come in here and you can see I was playing about with this beforehand just to make sure that this was gonna work. So there we go. That's now our image. I recommend highly that you come over and you click move to folder and you choose to save it to a folder, whether you've got a folder called images or wherever it is that you're saving your images to. Even though you can start inside of the, the main homepage, the best place to start is by actually coming to your homepage, create a projects folder, create a projects folder called images. And then inside of the images folder here, we can click add new and we can come over and click upload. And that's going to allow us to upload our image. Let's choose this one of my backdrop behind me. It's a wider view of what's actually behind me, all of my Lego. So let's say I wanted to use this one. I'm going to upload that image to this folder it's gonna automatically be there for me to use in Canva. Now, if I click on the three dots here, I can now choose edit photo from these three dots once I've uploaded my image to a folder. So click edit photo, and that's gonna give us the same screen that we saw beforehand. We can come over, we can click adjust, we can click auto adjust, you can see the colors changing there automatically a little bit. And then we can come over to crop. Let's say I wanted just a one by one crop on this. 
I can just click one by one crop and I can choose to pick the part of that image that I want. If I wanted less in there and I wanted to just zoom in on a particular part of the Lego, say I only wanted this, this was just a quick snap that I took on my phone, but I wanted just to show this, I can do. And you can also then extend that again afterwards if you want to. I'm just using the pinch zoom there on my trackpad in order to be able to zoom in and out. So we can see if I wanted to just zoom in on a particular part or, you know, say I wanted to just show this particular part of the image, I can do. It is blurry, but that's just the quality of the image that I've uploaded and how much I'm zooming into that. That's just part of image editing. And I can click done. Now, if I click done, I click save, save to Canva, or I can download it again if I wanted to show it to my phone. Now, what this is going to do inside of images, and you can see this has actually showed up a lot quicker. It's going to create a copy of it and it's going to create a cropped copy. So once you've done that, my absolute best tip is to come over here and do a, in here one by one crop of backdrop. That's going to mean I'm going to actually know what that actual image is because you can come over here and you know you can see all sorts of other information but unless you actually add and change the description of it you're not going to be able to find that image again and once you start adding more and more images in here you're not going to be able to find your images you can also click on the pencil and change the name of it and you can also add tags but what if you're actually in a designer you want to edit the ratio of an image now there's a couple of different ways that you can do this as well inside of canva so let's first of all create a new project let's come to social media instagram and we want uh, an instagram square in here what we can do is we can come to our uploads section and we've got our uploads from our images so we can come over here this is the one the original one that we uploaded let's say again we want to now edit this image or crop this image inside of canva we can now come over to edit photo and we can now adjust our image here we can click auto adjust we can click crop and we're going to see those same aspect ratios that we want to or can crop from and yeah, let's just say we want this time we want a four by four crop and that's going to mean we're going to have a little bit of a different kind of size of things. So let's zoom in here a little bit and we can if we want a four by five crop, we're going to have to come in pretty tight on this one. And we're only going to be able to fit in a certain amount of that image inside of here if you wanted the actual full image but you want it to be on a four by five crop you're going to have to have some space around the top and bottom so you're going to say let's change it to a one by one crop or the four by five crop because that fitted slightly better so if we wanted it to be a four by five crop so we're going to go with that and now we've got a four by five image but it's inside of a square so if we wanted to, we could just then make this bigger. And all we need to do on that one then is to make sure it's in the middle and everything else like that. Come over to position, click center middle. Now you are gonna have those white borders on the edge, but it is gonna fit inside of that one by one crop. That's the only way you can do that if you want a to fit the full image, if you like, inside of a one by one crop. That's the only way you can do it is by having those borders on the side. Now, there is one other way of doing something slightly different, and that's adding it to a grid, not a frame. Frames act differently, but a grid is going to allow you to actually manipulate how this image looks. So let's add a new page, come over to elements. And we're going to come over to grid. We're going to choose this one by one crop grid because that's just, you know, going to fill the whole screen no matter what our aspect ratio is of our template or our canvas, if you like. And if you're not sure what size your canvas is, you can come up to file and that's going to tell you the size of your canvas up here. It's going to say 1080 by 1080. So we know that that's a, a one by one crop because it's 1080 by 1080. Now you could have a one by one crop that is 500 by 500. One by one just means it's the same width wise as it is height wise. That's all that means. And as that changes it, you know, if you click like four, if you say four by five, if you take four blocks wide and take those same blocks and turn them tall, it's going to take five of those blocks to fill tall wise. 
So now we've added our grid, all we're gonna to need to do is come over to our uploads and add our image. We're gonna drag and drop that image onto that grid. Now that's gonna fill the grid. And in order to actually adjust how this changes, we just double click on that now, and we can then choose whichever one we want. Now, if I click away, because you'll see you've still got some of the bits on the side there. If I zoom out and you change the zoom just down the bottom here, I'm using a pinch zoom, but you can then now choose to double click on that and you can actually zoom the image into the grid until it fills the grid that you want it to. And this is just a little different way that you can choose to crop an image. I'm just gonna leave it there. You can get this looking neater however you want when you've got a little bit more time. But that's how you can then change that. And if you wanted to change that, you can just, just come in and you can change it to a different one of the images. If you wanted to, you just double click it and change that aspect ratio. Now there is one more option and this is more for resizing templates if you like, but it also works if you've got an image like this inside of a grid. Let's say, so this is a one by one crop. If I wanted to resize this now to an Instagram video, I could click on this. I could change it to an Instagram reel. Type in the top here, I can choose to resize it to a Facebook landscape image, Facebook frame, anything else like that. And the more of these you choose, and the benefit of using the Magic Resize in Canva is I can choose multiple of these, then click Copy and Resize, and that's gonna then just open up three separate pages. Now there is a workaround for this, but it's a little bit more manual involved. And that is if you come back to your original image, like this one, and then you come down to choose the grid option. If I choose copy on that, and then let's say on the home page, I want to create a, create a design and I'm gonna choose Facebook cover. So say I wanted to choose that into a Facebook cover. Now, because I've copied the page, I can click paste in here, and that's gonna then paste the image in inside of that, you can see it's actually pasted the grid inside of there. It's actually added a new page. And all I can do now is I can come down here and then just change this to fit however I want by dragging the corners, by dragging the sides. That's gonna change the aspect ratio of the grid that you're using. And that's one of the benefits of using a grid is that you can change the aspect ratio of this. So I can come in and just keep cropping until I want to get the part of the cat that I want. And then once I've got that, I can then come do to position, center it in the middle. Now, if you do, or you haven't seen this position option, I've got another video coming that I'm gonna record after this one. So do make sure you click like and subscribe. And until next time, thank you very much. And bye for now.